So chlorine lock happens when um, too much stabilized pool chlorine is used in a pool. So chlorine comes in two forms. You've got uh, dichlor or trichlor, which is a stabilized pool chlorine. And then you've got just a straight granular cow hypo, which is unstabilized. So if people are buying chlorine from say a hardware or potentially getting wrong advice, it could be adding too much stabilized chlorine, which is then called a chlorine lock. So what happens is, the chlorine basically becomes a uh, saturated, um, people also call it sunscreen. So too much sunscreens on the chlorine, which makes it ineffective in the pool. So yeah. people then think, oh, I need to add more. So they keep adding more and more chlorine, making their pool, their chlorine lock bigger and bigger. Once you have a chlorine lock, the only way to get it out of the pool is by draining a quarter or nearly half of your pool and refilling it. Uh, there is a chemical on the market which states that it removes uh, cyanuric acid or stabilizer, but it's it's not that effective and it's very expensive. You'd probably yeah, right. cost you less for water if you can use water in your area. So you drain half the pool, you'd refill it, and then you'd rebalance it, preferably not re-adding stabilized pool chlorine. So if you do use stabilized pool chlorine, you've got to use it in moderation. Otherwise, if you did want to use granulated chlorine for a prolonged period of time, you'd just use straight cow hypo or unstabilized chlorine. Okay, all right. That's cool. it.